Yes. Welcome to electronics classes conducted by BBSM Academy, a school of arts and science. Discovery of diodes and triodes. Triodes are also called as transistors. What is the diode, my dear friends? The diode has two terminals, a circuit element encourages current to flow in only one direction. Very important thing, diode encourages the current to flow only in one direction. Very important. The filament itself may be the cathode or more commonly as shown here used to heat a separate metal tube which serves as a cathode see here this is a cathode this is a symbol represented by diode this unlike the transistor which has three diode three terminals the three terminals that's why it's called triodes. In the transistor, current can flow in more than one direction. It varies more than one direction. Well, both diodes and transistors modulate current direction and voltage. Modulate, varies, changes the direction of electric current is very important. In both the cases, diodes and tra transistors modulate current, direction and voltage. Of course, in diodes it is only a single direction or monodirection or unidirection or only one direction. But in triodes, it changes more than one direction, forward, backward or in another terminal. Well, friends, let us discuss about the history of the development of origin of diodes. Astro Hungarian Julius Edgar Lilien Fage, physicist and an electrical engineer who was edited with the first patent on the field effect transistor, FET, field effect transistor. The abbreviation stands for FET. It is a general knowledge question for the electronic students. FET, abbreviated for field effect transistor. Because of his failure to publish articles in learner journals and uh, because of high purity semiconductor materials were not available are not found on those days yet his FET patient never achieved fame causing confusion for later inventors a transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power transistors are one of the basic building blocks of modern electronics it is composed of semiconductor material usually with at least three terminals for connection to an external circuit. A voltage or a current applied to one pair of transistor terminals control the current through another pair of transistor terminals. Because the controlled output power can be higher than the controlling input power, a transistor can amplify a signal. Today, some transistors are packaged individually Many more are found embedded in the integrated circuit. Embedding is nothing but integrated circuits. So these are the history and the discovery and is uh, proposed so many things in 1947 by American physicist John Bardeen and Walter Bratain while working under William Shockey at Bell Labs, 
The three shared a 1956 Nobel Prize in Physics for their achievement. The most widely used transistor is a MOSFET, Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effective Transistor. Again, a general knowledge question for the abbreviation stands for MOSFET capital letters. M O S F E T is nothing but the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It is also known as MOS transistor, which has been invented by Mohammed Atalla with Davon Kahang at Bell's laboratory in 1959. It is a modern physics. The MOSFET was the first truly compact revolutionizer of the field of electronics and paved the way for smaller and cheaper radios, calculators, milestones in electronics. You see, the MOSFET is the fundamental building block of modern electronic world manufactured between 1960 to 2018. Till today, at least 99% of all transistors making the MOSFET and from germanium, but certain other semiconductor materials are sometimes used. A transistor may have only one kind of a charge carrier in a field effect transistor or may have two kinds of J charge carriers in bipolar junction transistor devices. Compared with the vacuum tube transistors are generally smaller and require less power to operate. Certain vacuum tubes have advantages where transistors have very high operating frequencies or high operating voltages. Many types of transistors are made, are made to standardize the specifications by multiple manufacturers. So this is uh, Ferdinand Braun, 1850 to 1918, discovered the semiconductor diode in 1874. German physicist Ferdinand Braun, a 24-year-old graduate of the University of Berlin, studied the characteristics of electrolytes and crystals that conduct electricity at Wiesburg University. In 1874, while probing galena crystals, that is lead sulfide, with a point of a thin metal wire, he noted the current flowed freely in one direction only. Brown had discovered the electrical rectification effect that takes place at the point of contact between metals and certain crystals materials. Brown demonstrated the semiconductor device at uh, Leipzig in, say, 1876, but it found no useful application until the advent of radio, the early 1900s. This is a German physicist. Ferdinand Brand working in his electronics laboratory. Herbert Frost uh, Matre, 1912 to 2011, German physicist and co inventor of the French transistor in 1948. In 1950, he independently invented a point contact transistor in June 1948. This is all the discovery of the Transistors, my dear friends. This is the photo from left John Badin, William Shockey, and Walter Bratchin, the inventors of the transistor in 1948. This is one of the series of publicity photos produced by Bell Labs around the time of the public announcement of the invention, June 30, 1948. Although Shockey was not involved in the invention and has never been listed on the patent applications. Bell Labs decided that Shockey must appear on all publicity photos along with the Bardeen and Bratin. The semiconductor diode. See if it's completed current rectifier using selenium in the United States circa 1886. These things we will discuss in the next forthcoming classes, my dear friends, along with our the great scientist from India, Jagdish Chandra Bose, a professor of physics in Calcutta, India.